Behind this garage door sits one of the craziest vehicles ever. I'm just kidding guys. This is actually my parents' house and I'm about to commit a crime. So, I'm about to steal my dad's truck. This is his 2019 Ford F-350 Limited, and with my parents away at the cabin for the weekend, it's the perfect opportunity to grab it, get it fully detailed for him, and then surprise him with it when he gets back. But before I do, I have to show you how incredibly tight the fit is here. The front end of the truck is actually touching the wall, and the rear bumper has less than an inch of clearance from the garage door. Absolutely crazy. I'll have more on why he needs a truck like this later in the video, but for now, it's time to get it out of here and out to the studio. Hey, can I get a large half coffee, half French vanilla? Well, no car theft would be complete without a stop at Tim's and uh, coffee on the owner. Thanks, Dad. All right, let's get this thing out to the studio. All right, guys, well, I got the truck back to the studio. It's here safe and sound, so it's time to get to work on it. But just before I do, I want to take a quick look and see what I'm dealing with today. All right, well, as winter has firmly set in here in Canada, the truck has taken a bit of a beating as there's loads of mucky ice in all the wheel wells, the paint is pretty dirty, and as for the interior, well, it's not terrible, but it looks like he's got a pile of gear in here to remove, so I'll get to that in a little bit, but in the meantime, make sure you're subscribed to the channel, and be sure to stick around until the end of the video to catch the big surprise. It looks brand new, Mitch. You're the best son ever. Now as I get to work on the truck, I've already gone ahead and cracked open the hot water line that's feeding my pressure washer to mix in a little bit of hot with the cold water that I typically run, so that way it'll cut through all the ice that's on the truck a little bit better, and as I do this and see all the pieces of ice flying off here, it reminds me of a few other trucks that I've done that were similar to this and covered in snow and ice. They should all be queued up in the Dirty Trucks playlist that's on the channel, but to answer your question, yes, this is as fun as it looks. So I'm sure some of you out there are wondering why my dad needs to have such a big truck that only fits in his garage by a couple of millimeters. And while it is a fair question, the main reason is to pull his 36 foot fifth wheel RV, among other things. So I think it's fair to say that if he could go back and build his garage just a couple feet deeper, he probably would have. Hopefully Ford doesn't make the F-350 any longer or he's going to be stuck with this one for a while. Okay guys, well since my dad was telling me just a few weeks ago how dirty his truck had gotten, and specifically the box of the truck from driving on gravel roads a bunch, that's really what spurred this whole idea to clean his truck for him, since he doesn't have a way of doing it himself in the winter, but first I need to remove all the stuff he's got back here, and oddly enough, I hardly ever use the tailgate step on my truck, but it sure does come in handy when you're making a bunch of trips back and forth like this.
Now, one thing you guys might find interesting is that my dad's truck is a 2019, just like my Raptor is, and they were actually built around the same time. His was built in November of 2018, and mine January of 2019, so just two months apart, although his came from the Kentucky plant and mine from the Dearborn plant in Michigan, and he's also got 89,000 kilometers on his truck, where I'm just coming up on 60,000 kilometers on mine, but as for who's got the nicer truck, well, Ruby thinks that answer is pretty obvious. Okay, as I continue moving around the truck, I wanted to quickly remind you guys about the new Yard Geek video that just came out. If you haven't seen it yet, then make sure you check it out. It's a vlog style video, so a lot different than what I normally do, but I'm also happy to report that the video frequency is going to ramp up, so be sure to subscribe and keep your eye on the channel, as new videos are coming very soon. Now once I finish up drying the truck and wiping down the door jams too, I'll get started unloading the truck of all my dad's gear. And I say gear because he's big into photography, which is something that he got into after he retired. So I've already spied a few cool things in here like this heat -a seat And then of course he's got one of my Detail Geek Ultra Plush drying towels in here, which is awesome. But as I dig further, this is a support for a telephoto lens that he uses when he's shooting out the window of the truck. You just hang it over the window and then rest the lens on there. And then there's a bag full of more camera gear, likely accessories and maybe a lens or two. Then in the door here, I was really appalled to find a bottle of Armor All glass cleaner. Yeah, I'll have to do something about that later. And as I hop over to the other side, you'll see there's a whole bunch more gear like tripods and such. But take note that they're all covered in camo. And that's because one of my dad's main areas of interest is in wildlife photography, which is something he's gone all over the world to pursue, and the images he gets are truly spectacular, guys. Here's one of the Nikon cameras and telephoto lenses he shoots with, but he doesn't just limit himself to wildlife photography. He also does astrophotography and uses all kinds of crazy gear from huge telescopes to star trackers to stabilizers, like the one I found in the front seat. Now astrophotography is a highly technical field of photography and something I've dabbled in a little bit myself, but my dad's images are worthy of being in a magazine and because he really just does it for himself, I figured I'd share a few with you guys and give them the attention they deserve. Here's the first image which is of a lunar eclipse and it's a Photoshop composite using two cameras, one for the foreground and a long telephoto lens for the moon 
The camera shooting the moon phases during the eclipse was on a star tracker to allow the camera to track the moon during the exposures to prevent blurring due to the Earth's rotation. Pretty cool. Then there's a couple of wildlife shots. The first two are of snowy owls, which were shot just south of the city here, and the third is a Baltimore Oriole that he shot out of his cabin. Both really nice images. And then here's another astro shot. This one is of the Milky Way and is a stitched panorama using six panels. Each panel contains 20 tracked and stacked images to minimize noise and allow for sharper stars during the exposures. Again, super cool. Anyways, as I get started on vacuuming, I'll throw in a few more of his images here, all of which take a tremendous amount of knowledge, time, and skill to capture and produce. So knowing that he spends a lot of time in the truck, driving around the province, trying to track down wildlife and find good spots to shoot the stars, I can understand why his truck has gotten so dirty. Now to my earlier point about the truck getting dirty, my dad was never a guy to let his vehicles get very dirty and is 100% why I got into detailing back when I was 16. He was always particular with his vehicles and took good care of them and that totally rubbed off on me too. So right from the first car I ever had, I always wanted to keep it looking as good as I possibly could and I definitely have my dad to thank for that. Now just to follow up on the last point, knowing that my dad likes to keep his vehicle clean and that he's getting a little bit older now and it's a lot harder on his body to clean a truck this big, that's really what compelled me to do this. But also he's always been there to help me when I ask, whether it's out in the yard or shooting product pictures for Detail Geek Auto Care or even helping me film videos like the Studio Tour video from last fall, he's there when I need him. So this was just a great way to give back and say thank you.
All right, well, to nourish and condition this beautiful leather in here, I'm using my leather conditioner, which is enriched with lanolin and will not only leave the leather smelling terrific, but it will ensure it stays soft and supple too. Okay, now since I know for a fact that my dad hasn't clayed the paint since he bought the truck over four years ago, this was a necessity for me to do. And not surprisingly, the paint was pretty dirty and the clay picked up all sorts of tar and other gunk that was embedded in it. Now just before I finish up here, I'll put the finishing touches on the truck with some protectant that will leave all the black trim with that freshly detailed look and offer it some UV protection too.
All right guys, well, it's the next day now and the truck is looking insanely good. I just got a text from my mom saying that both her and my dad, they're on their way home right now. So I told her to make sure that they stop here first before they go home. Anyways, it sounds like they're gonna be here in just a couple of minutes, so it's time for the big surprise. Well, just before he shows up, I'm gonna leave him with a little gift and will forgive his use of a terrible product like Armorall and give him the best stuff out there, which is my glass cleaner and waffle weave towel. And then I gotta go sneak a camera outside real quick before he gets here. Hey, how are you How's doing? Good, good. How are you? I'm fine. How was your weekend? It was awesome. Good. Got some good pictures. Yeah, awesome. What's with the uh, camera? The camera? Yeah. Well, I got something in the studio I want to show you. No, a really? Surprise. Yeah. Okay. You want to go see it? Yeah. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. What's my truck doing here? <laughs> this uh, is awesome. Yeah, I stole it. Figured I'd clean it up for you. Wow, I'm amazed. Looks pretty good. It hasn't looked as good since the day I took it off the lot, Mitch. Yeah, well, that's what people always tell me, so. <laughs> <laughs> this looks sweet. Wow, it even smells good. Yeah. It looks brand new, Mitch. Oh, it looks so good. You even got the door jams, man. Oh, heck yeah. You taught me that. <laughs> I remember. I'm gonna check one more place though. Yeah. I bet you didn't clean under here. Sure did. You did. <laughs> I don't miss spots, you know that. It's one more place I gotta check. <laughs> did you do the box? Of course I did. Whoa. It was filthy back there. Yeah, it was. <laughs> you couldn't even see the inside. It was all dust. It's terrible. That's wonderful. Thank you very much. Of course. You're the best son ever. Good. <laughs> That's what I was going for. Enjoy it. I will. Okay. You're the best. Yeah. You bet. Thank you. You betcha. All right, guys. Well, that is going to wrap things up for this video, but there's no question this was a special one for me, and it was really awesome to see how happy my dad was with how it turned out. Uh, I was really happy to be able to do that for him and, you know, give back to somebody who's helped me and supported me my whole life. So, um, yeah, it was just really nice to do. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this one, please make sure you hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.